I want you to get up. And if you can't get outside in your yard or in a space that's close to your house, I want you to get off the couch. March, here we go. Step touch right. There you go. Take the arms across your chest. Legs wide, put a bounce on it. Watch the arms, juggle. There it is. Four, three, two, one. March, right? Add a little style to it. Shake it out. Four, three, two. We're gonna tap right and left. Right, tap, left. Shoulders. Rely on yourself for that upper body movement. There you go. We've got eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Twist right. Four, three, two. Arms up and down. There it is. Four, three, two. I got gotcha. you. Step touch right. I gotta make sure I don't step on that box. <laughs> Last four. I want you to put your hands on your hips and tap wide. There. It's about 88 degrees, or maybe it's like 85. What's the difference, right? <laughs> I usually sweat so easily. I'm not sweating yet, but the hair, I don't know. I should have had something to tie it up, right? arms. One love, one love, one love. Kick that heel up. Good. Watch the arms in four. We're going to take the arms overhead. That's about now. Good. Give me a double to the right. Go. Give me a double with one arm. You got it. Four more. Three. Two. One. Twist right. I see you, I see you, mama. Four, three, two, give me a jumping drag. If you can't jump like that, just go halfway up. Good. Four, three, two, march, right? Right on. Get those arms out. Take it on. Arms down. Last four. Three. Two. One. Give me a regular march. There it is. I'm feeling good now. <laughs> Pump your arms. Four, three. So if you have the kitties, they can do all of this with you. They can, watch the arms.
Good. Four. Three. Watch the arms. Two. I'm gonna double this. Just the arms. Here we go. How about that? Are, are the kids cute? <laughs> That's it, guys. Give me a toe tap forward right and left. All right. Add some style. Your thing, your thing, your thing. All right, we're gonna add the arms now. Pump them down. Ooh, bring the body into it too. That's it. All right, I want you to dance a little. Shake your booty, right. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's double it to the right, too. Uh-huh. What would you do if I said, uh-uh? Let's go. Four more. I'm getting my life. Oh, I'm getting my life. <laughs> Toe tap to the right. Put a bounce on it. <laughs> Don't hurt me though. <laughs> toe, toe. So guys, what is this good for? Well, <laughs> circulation. Circulation moves energy. Have you ever seen a body of water just stand still? After a while, you can't drink it. You are a body of water. Yeah, you are, kitty cat. Move. We're gonna march one, two, three, tap right. One, two, three, tap left. Tap right. All right. You're sweating. Are you sweating? If you're not sweating, you're doing this. Because I wouldn't sweat if I was doing that either. Pick your body up. So if you use your whole body, you don't have to do complex dance steps. You do easy dance steps and you rock them. Sweating is a sign that you're removing toxins from your body. You want to sweat. So add body, body, body. Huh. Four more. Three, two, tap only. Sometimes guys, when I teach, People need guidance. When I say freestyle your arms, they need a little guidance because they just, they go back to the go-to. See where there's less body movement? That's fine, but then shake it up a little bit. When I say freestyle the arms, shake it up. That same movement can turn into that. Give me a double, two. This creativity is good for your mind. Two more, one more. March right. Oh yeah. Four. Three. Two. Step touch right. Four more. Right.
right here. Bounce it. So this is like bounce. Down, watch the arms down. Two, three, up. Down. Up. Up. I want you to keep it here. Watch the arms. That's it. Lift that heel up, kitty cat. Take the arm down to the side. So it's the same side. Good. Get that windshield going around. This is really great if you've got the sky. If you don't, just imagine it. That fresh air is so good for your system. Four, three, to give me a march right. We're letting nature heal us. I'm gonna tell you something about your mind. Even if you're not out in nature right now, because it's freezing, or because you're told just don't go out the door. Maybe you're in an apartment and you really can't go outside. Imagine the sky. Tell your mind, it's blue, beautiful clouds. Imagine the earth. Take your shoes off if you want. We're gonna do that in a second. And let the earth heal you. There is energy in the earth that is a natural panacea. I want you to let it in. Let it in. You were made an amazing organism who can breathe in this fresh air and heal. It's called naturally because it's nature. Four your nature. Three, don't you forget that. Because whatever you believe the most has the most power inside of you. If you want to take your shoes off, you can do that now. I'm going to do that. Otherwise, keep marching. Listen to that beat. It's right, right, right. I'm on this ground because it heals. Right. All right, hip width distance apart. A little bit wider than that. You can see I went about an inch to each side. We're gonna sit back. I'm gonna go at a diagonal so you can see the boote. Here we go. That's my French for the day. Abs in. Squeeze your butt. Toes up, toes up. Shoulders where? Down. Now you don't have to pull your shoulders down where you're like this but just keep them down instead of this. All right? Abs in, tight butt, toes up. Why do I keep saying that? Because I'm creating a mantra in your mind. <laughs> Don't let me get in there. Let me get in there. Let's stay down, here we go. All right, we're gonna do a right heel and a left heel. The toes never touch down. The right heel, left, right. This isn't a, a punch. You're not gonna punch your foot into the floor, right? You're just lifting. Do you see the rock with the body? I want that. That's gonna help you not put so much weight down. Good. This is really just about lifting and lowering. It's not about how hard you can hit the floor. Eight, seven, six. Get your booty down. Five, what language is that? Four, French, three, Two, double time. Pulse your butt. Abs tight, shoulders back. Count eight, eight, seven, toes up, six, five, Four, three, two, march. I don't care which leg. There you go. Beautiful. All right, 
because of copyright, I'm gonna change the song. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> Just checking to see if we're filming. Yeah, we're filming. All right, we're gonna move a little bit slower now. So you're just gonna bring your knee up across the body and across the body. That's right knee, left. Arms up. I want you to think about how long your neck is. I want you to pull in at your transverse ab, right at your navel. Get ready, let's double, two. Just the toe on the floor. Toe on the floor. Good. Keep the double. I want you to tap your arch. Double. There it is. We're gonna add on now. Give me four on the right. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three. Can you count that with me? One, four, three, two, one, four, three, two. Last time. Four, three, two, and four. Four, three, two. March right. Right. Arms, right. Tighten them up. Now pull a little bounce on it. Bounce. There it is. Let's take the legs wide. You don't have to stop moving. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Double right. Four more. Three. Two. Toe tap right. Bring that toe in. We're getting ready to sit down. So you want to be nice and wide. You're going to go into your heel. Right here, into your heel. Now heel, 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 heel. Remember, don't slam it. You're going to use your body weight to hold your body up. Don't slam down. A lot of control. Hands at your heart, plie down for two. Down, two. Now, I don't care if you're Kung Fu Panda. I don't care if you're here either. But I don't want you here. All right? Any of these. I like to embellish everything, yeah? You? You like to embellish too? Stay down, hold. Give me some upper body. So don't move your legs. There's a plane going over. Stay down. We're gonna go lower, lower. Count eight, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, step touch. All right, let's take it down all the way, all the way to the pinkness. We're gonna go to the mat. I got rid of a little bit of the music because it's really, I don't know if you can hear the sound, they're uh, painting over here. So they've got a generator going and it's a little bit of noise. But I think you can hear me better and maybe you can hear a bird. I'm still not talking about me. I mean a bird, a real bird. We're gonna come down to the floor. 
If you're on a mat, that's great. If you're on the floor, that's fine. And, um, you know, just wipe it when you're done. <laughs> you're like, of course, Michelle. So I want you to go ahead and relax on your back. <sighs> Place your hands behind your head, your fingertips right on your head and relax there. And the first thing that we're gonna do is very easy. I want you to draw your navel in and down. Take one leg down and just lift it, flex the foot and lower it. And lift it and lower it. And I want you to notice that you're drawing your navel in the whole time. And lower. And I want you to, as you're moving, just lift the other leg off the floor slightly. You can flex the feet. You're gonna add, you're gonna feel a little bit of a tension. We're gonna do two more. And one more. Good, go ahead and put this foot that you're moving down on the floor, extend the other leg, flex the foot, draw the navel in and just start coming up to 90 degrees or as high as you can go. So you're gonna think of, some of you, if your hamstrings are tight, you're gonna be like this. But what I, if your knee is bent like that, try not to change the angle. Like don't go bend and then straighten and then bend. I want you to keep the angle the same. Focus here, navel, draw it inward. Keep moving. I'm gonna straighten my leg. You can keep yours bent. You're gonna lift the other foot slightly. Keep moving. You can decelerate as you're going to the bottom. Draw the navel in. You're in no hurry to get anywhere. All right. <laughs> yeah. Good. And let's do two more. Uh -huh. One more. Go ahead and take both legs up into the air. If your knees are bent, that's totally fine. Just keep the angle the same. Otherwise, straighten them. Try to keep your feet really firm. Don't let the feet do this, okay? We're gonna open and close. I want you to keep your legs in a perpendicular line to the floor, 90 degree angle. If you have a lot of flexibility and you're a little bit closer to your face, that's fine, but it's better if you could get your legs at 90 degrees. Okay, what I don't want is this at all because it's gonna put a lot of pressure on your back. Keep moving. And if you do have any pressure on your back, I want you to put your hands, your wrist part or the fleshy part between your thumb and index, right there. My wrist is there because my, my arms are very long. So, you know, you, you have to consider your body and your torso, okay? You're just buffering the hips up a little bit by doing that. If you don't need to do that, you can keep your hands where they are. Flex your foot. Squeeze your inner thighs like you've got a big ball in there and squeeze it. Good. And squeeze it like you're gonna pop it. They stopped painting. I don't hear any more noise. Let's do four more of these. Four, three, two. We're gonna return to these. Keep your legs together. I want you to crunch. Look in here, if you could, at your shin or at your big toe, but I do not want you to look at the sky. So either this angle or this angle. You can look at your navel if you don't lower your chin, but let's just stay up here. This is probably gonna be really sweet. And I want you to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. What are you squeezing? Not the ball this time. You're gonna squeeze right at your navel. I want you to pull your navel down and in and just pulse. This is about an inch of movement. And eight, seven. Let's just say that you feel this in your neck a bit five, lower your head to right here, but don't lower your chin, just your gaze. Three, two, and one. Lower your head all the way, please. All right, point your toes. You're gonna cross at the top. Do you see that my knees don't touch? Can you see that? So I don't want you to do this. Really, don't let your knees touch. So you point your toes and just cross your ankle. Ankle, ankle. Pull the navel in, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, open and close with the pointed toes. Eight, seven, draw your navel in. Six, five, four, three, we're gonna change the feet. Two, flex your feet, turn your feet out. So it's Mary Poppins, so you're gonna click your heels. Is that Mary Poppins or Dorothy? Whoever it is to you. Ah. And, Four, three, draw in at your navel, please. Two, 
Keep your heels together and click, click, click. Put your heels on the ceiling, click. In the sky, click, click. Or in the marshmallow up there. Eight, seven, six, five, straight, four, straight, three, two, eight more. Eight, seven, six, flex your feet. Four, three, two, and release. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, we're gonna do one leg movement. Reach up and tap your toe. Lower the leg, lower the arm, reach up and tap your toe. Lower the leg, lower the arm, tap. Here we go. And let's do 10 more. And 10, nine, draw the navel in. Eight, seven, six. So try not to tap here. Five, get higher. Four, I got my ankle. Three, I said toe, but I was tapping my ankle. Two, and one. Lower this leg. This hand's gonna do the movement, this leg. Let's start it off, tap. And we're gonna do 15. I didn't count that first five because I was talking, two. <laughs> Three, pull the navel in, four. If you feel your back, don't go down so far. Five, six, don't lower your legs so far. Seven, eight, 15, nine, 10, 11, 12, <laughs> 13, 14, and 15. Beautiful. I want you to put your hands down, palms down alongside your body. And let your hips move side to side. Rock the hips. All night, dance you in today. Woo. There we go. Shimon! on. Ground those heels and lift your hips up. Woo! Daggone it. It's so beautiful. I'm looking at the clouds and they're moving. They just started to move really fast. That means the air is changing in just one spot. The air is changing right above me. Oh. And rolled out. It's so amazing. Just one area. Wow. You gotta lay on your back and look at the sky. I mean, we're, we're like on the things, on the gadget things. Man, it's been a long time since I've just laid on my back and looked at the sky. Let's do another bridge. Pull in at your navel, please. You can lift your toes and play the piano down there. Ooh, ooh, let me straighten my neck out. Yeah, I could feel that because I was looking at the camera. Yeah, and then let's just lower. Beautiful. I want you to gather those knees, those thighs into your belly. Hold on either under if that's comfortable for you or if you can take this angle, the top, and rock. Mm. And smile. I hope that you had a really good time getting your body going. Let's actually pop up. Put your hands underneath. Get your legs up. You're gonna put your head onto your knees and pop up. I hope that you had a really good time going. I want you to make a four and reach out to your foot or your ankle. And um, I hope this was a time for you to spend with your family uh, having fun and a time for you to get offline. I mean, what am I saying? You're probably online. But to do something very constructive together online. <laughs> You're online. And then switch legs, please. <laughs> but I hope that uh, you, you feel the oneness because with all of this separateness and division and, you know, maybe we're blaming, oh, which I really don't like. Um, maybe we're blaming, but I hope that this was a moment for you to feel connected to the people that are right around you and connected to your body. Your body is the world. Your body is the world. If you can maintain your health by your intentions and your practices, you heal the world. You do. You really do. Thank you.